All right, let's go over the energy effect. This was kind of the main gist of the tutorial and why the whole reason I made it. So I'm actually gonna come in here and talk via microphone and screen record it. Now we're opening up Blender. You might under, uh, be asking, why, the, why are you using Blender? Well, it's simple. For one thing, I couldn't create the circle texture thing that I needed without it because it was just easier to make it on here. I don't know how to do it in After Effects only. So we're gonna use this. Fuck it. <laughs> um, essentially what we're gonna be getting is we're gonna be getting this sort of texture. This is what we need as the basis for the effect. So we're gonna create it. It's actually very simple, I'm not gonna lie. Um, what we'll do is we're going to create a texture. We're going to delete this because we don't need it. We're gonna add a gradient texture then set it to radial, if I could find it, radial, and add a, believe an object coordinate, yes. Um, yes, 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 yes. Sorry, I'm doing this after, like way after the fact, cause I already made the, the video. Um, we could not use a plane and instead maybe use a circle, fill it, add the same texture and boom you got it <laughs> there you go then when rendering this out all you probably need to do is turn on transparency and set a camera to be directly above this thing so turn those to zero have that up and then make these the same number then there you go Let's set it to four render it out with transparency and you're good. We just need this as a base, so we're using that. Then from there, um, I'm working on the actual tutorial as we speak. Um, I pretty much finished it besides this. What we're gonna do is bring in our texture, add it in like so, and what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna stay in this comp and we're gonna do a couple things. If we actually look at the reference, where the fuck, I'm not even in the right thing. Um, we look at the reference for this, there's like a bunch of circles sort of laid on top of each other. And if you look really closely, there's sort of like four accents of color. So this isn't exactly accurate. What we're actually going to do is a couple things. We're going to create four versions of this, set all of these three to multiply, so that way we can rotate each of them by 90 degrees um, respectively. So sort of like this. Then from there, we could add a curves effect to maybe adjust it so some of them are, so the white shows up a little bit more and that'll work. Then add a fast box blur to all of them to sort of fade that black line just a little bit and we're going to apply this to all of them once you have that we're just going to duplicate one more so we can get rid of all of the effects pre-comp the last four and use the one with no effects as a alpha mat or yeah an alpha mat so that way we don't have any issues there now we're good you can pre-comp it one more time and you can see there's just this white border to fix that we're going to use a simple choker by the way if you're not keeping up i'm sorry just pause and follow along i'm trying to do this quick because it's like 6 30 p.m for me anyways we're going to use a simple choker to kind of get this all situated and then from there you can pre-comp one more time and we need to do the whole layering of these things so what we're gonna do is we're just going to duplicate a bunch, set one to the exact bottom of the frame, and then set another one, probably this one, because it's actually, um, actually it's not duplicate, let's duplicate this one, and then push this up. So we want these three to be up front. Um, we can set that to zero and one to 1080. So now we have this layering system here. Then we can duplicate all of these, put them at the bottom and push them to one side, duplicate again and push 
to another side. Simple, simple. Then from there, we're going to keyframe all of these. And a simple way of keyframing this to go over time, because um, we want them to rotate, that's part of the effect. Uh, we're gonna do an expression on one of them by alt keyframing, alt clicking the keyframe here and typing in time with the star and however long, just kind of get one that seems normal and we'll play it. This is kind of slow. Maybe you want it faster. I don't know, let's do 80 for now. Now, once you're happy with that, copy your rotation and paste it to all of them. So now they all rotate, sick. All right, pre-comp. One more time, we're gonna keep pre-comping. This is a big thing with After Effects. Um, we're gonna use a colorama effect, I think. Um, we could use a colorama or we could use, um, I think I used something bef different before, but this is also fine. We're just gonna get a colorama effect to really split the colors here. And I wanna make this sort of green in the middle and this yellow and red to be black so that's the only difference so let's just make those black um and maybe adjust some of the phase shift on this actually maybe just even get rid of it entirely um how do i get rid of stuff i don't know how to use colorama i will be quite fair with you whatever we'll just make it black that makes it simple. Now we have spinning circles. Sick. All right. From there, we can pre-comp one more time. Scale it down to maybe, let's say, 10. And add a motion tile effect. Because we need a shit ton of these. And the reason why we scaled it down to 10 is because we're going to scale it up by 10. So now that all fills. If it was less than 10, it would cut off. So yes now that we have all of those effects there everything's situated we can then start creating more of this um uh what i originally did was i rendered this out as a solo thing because you can't add multiple motion tiles so if you wanted to make this smaller you can't go past 10 000 or 1000 so i rendered this out and then from there, what we're going to do is actually import that render. Um, I have it as a test texture, but I ended up using it. And we add it in. Uh, it's a little different, obviously. Um, but same gist. And the reason why we did this is so we could technically add another um, motion tile <laughs> effect on here. I'm um, just deleting the rest because we don't need it. So let's say we want 500 by 500. So now we can make it even more smaller than before. But let's keep it here for now to make this a little bit simpler. What we're going to do is we're going to add a adjustment layer, add a gradient multi, or you could use a four color gradient if you're not using sapphire. I use sapphire, so we're going to go with that. And the only thing we're going to do is change some of these colors. So one of them's going to be a light blue, another one's going to be like a dark blue, and another one's going to be purple. We're just trying to match the reference in terms of the color system that it seems to be going with there. Um, this one seems to be a little bit bigger, so let's go with that. Then we can set it to screen or add. We're going to use screen for now, and you can see this is what this looks like. It's starting to look way more like the effect. Now, I at the finished result, I'm pretty sure I literally only went with this, but you could take it further and start maybe playing around with other uh, color modes and stuff, like maybe overlay, and also like maybe adjusting some of these so it mixes all the colors in somehow. You could do a bunch of random stuff, but this was overall how I got the original effect. And who knows, maybe you wanna add a curves, or something like that it doesn't really matter do your thing once you have all of this in 
we're gonna pre-comp it and let's add a test like energy effect um to actually apply to as a texture what we're going to do is i'm going to use my film riot effect you could use any black and white thing but this is what i usually use um for any of my stuff let's use this dust blast here it happens to be in 4k um and it's short so we'll just we'll kind of stay over here rotate that by wrong number negative 90 and put that in here as you can see it's like a nice little like dust spew thingy my bob all fine and dandy and what we're going to do is we're going to use a luma mat so now the texture is now applied over the white spots and it's also transparent but as you can tell it's very transparent so usually how i fix this is adding a curves to the effect itself and just boosting the highlights so that way it all gets in there and it's all nice and bright then we can pre-comp one more time and add something like a deep glow or any glow effect again you might want to just use the regular glow and after effects but we're going to use deep glow here because you can just it just looks better but we're going to adjust the threshold just this and boom boom pow i don't know if it's going to run fast on full uh but yeah there you go you got yourself like a kind of more real life version of mob psycho's power what's also really funny about his power in the animation is that the texture of like all the orb circle things doesn't move around with his body it's like almost like a static texture that like if he moves it doesn't move so it it just it's just static so you could just leave it like this and it would actually be pretty accurate then to do something like let's say uh let's go back and use let's use this this is the original version of me so let's just use this frame as an example and delete this because we don't need it what we're gonna do is we're going to duplicate one version of it use a simple choker on one of them so that way we can extend the background a little bit then if we add something like rough and edges we can create sort of uh, we could break it up a little bit we can maybe stretch it too so that way it sort of is in one direction more or less offset turbulence to then shoot it up i'm not saving that so that way it's all like moving and this is a good way to do some sort of like backing energy effect the only thing is, is if i unsolo this you can see that um you can see that my I'm still there so to fix that we'll just add a fill make it black uh, maybe even add this beforehand and maybe adjust the roughness just a little bit we'll make a new solid white pre-comp those two together so now we have this and we also have the clip then all we have to do is luma mat or luma invert if we did it with a white background instead um whatever this is how i did the actual like effect around myself um it's very very simple now to have the glow because if we add a glow now to this you can see that it's not wrapping around my body to fix this which is very simple we're going to pre-comp both of these together so that way that's there then we're going to duplicate a version of my person um and do another actually we're going to do an alpha mat or an alpha invert mat so now if i turn this off there is a cutout of me in there then if we pre-comp it add my person back in put my person behind this time and then add a deep glow it starts wrapping around my body boom boom pow you got yourself uh remotely like a somewhat accurate 
version of <laughs> Mob Psycho's Rainbow Effect. It's sick. I like this. This is how I essentially did it for the entire video. But yeah, uh, I figured I should go over that more specifically since that was what this tutorial was about. Probably went on for too long. So hopefully, hopefully it's not too long. Anyways, let's move on.